We opened up our second barber shop. Today's a big day. Woo! Looks legit. Life <laughs> All right, today is March 27th, uh, approximately 11.30 in the morning. In the morning! And we are on our way to go buy the first barber chair for the new barber shop. I have five chairs, I need three more for a total of eight. We're gonna have eight chairs in the new shop. It's gonna be dope. Thanks for watching. Bro, what do you think? Sick. What is it, dude? That's that Chicago strength right there. We got Jonathan with the cam. Look at that thing. Get behind the scenes. Yo, if anybody ever needs a flooring guy, call your boy Cairo. You guys aren't even close to the finished product here, but it's gonna look sick. Thanks, boys. You guys remember the old spot, you know? Break room, slash. Wait, oh my gosh, wait, what? Yeah, it's gonna be like a break room, slash, like waiting room. So Babe. when people come in here, they're gonna come in here and wait instead of like out here. That is so cool. So I'm thinking about making like a, a man cave. Yeah, like Lifeline part two. In case I'm proud of you. It's an exciting time for Chandler Barbershop owner Jacob Hallaby. We love our job. We love our job and we're excited to share our new space with our clients. You could say Governor Doug Ducey's decision to allow barbershops to reopen is throwing him a lifeline. It's also the name of his shop. Well, your barber is your lifeline and without him or her, you don't look good and you don't feel good. But when you feel good, you obviously do better in life and that's important to us. But this time around, things will be a little different. The shop will have to follow extra health guidelines and enforce safety measures to keep people safe from coronavirus. And you guys have to remember that that's what we went to school for. And so previously, even before the COVID-19 pandemic, we were already doing that. And imagine the While the times are changing, this barbershop will keep its old school style. We need to bring that nostalgia back from, from 1950 and on. And so what we do is we, we, you know, we brought some of the old chairs back keep some of the rustic piping outside of the wall instead of inside of the wall just to kind of give it that uh, 
that vibe that we're going for. Mixed with new school rules to keep people safe. These steps, along with continuing to social distance, are part of the governor's orders for reopening. Obviously different. And Jacob says barber school has already prepared him for times like this. See? Worse? <laughs> That's really hard.